The air in the BMO Harris Bradley Center was sucked out when Jabari Parker fell to the floor, clutching his knee. Today, an MRI revealed that Parker has torn his ACL in his left knee for a second time. His teammates were crushed, but they know they have to find a way to drum up the strength to move forward. Got to be ready for anything around here, man, especially with a guy like that goes down who's an incremental part of our success. You know, the thing about the NBA is it keeps rolling on no matter what happens. And, uh, you know, we got to remember that and uh, be ready to play tomorrow. This is our family. We do care about each other. You know, when someone goes down, you're, it's going to affect you. Our energy, I think, is a little bit down right now, and I think we need to pick it back up. I thought we had a great practice today, and I think that's the beginning of trying to turn it around and keeping our heads up. Practice was uh, spirited today, I think, uh, you know, understanding what, what we lost as a person and as a player. You know, it's the next guy up mentality, and we got to, you know, rally, you know, with one another. It's got to be a team effort for us to get out of this funk. Parker's injury dampened the celebration of Chris Middleton making his season debut, scoring five points in 15 minutes of action. I thought Chris was great. You know, I thought he did everything we expected him to do. We came away uh, for him with a positive, so now we got to build on that. Coach Kidd did not name a replacement for Parker in the starting lineup, and he alluded to doing it by committee. So we'll see who gets the call come Friday night when the Bucks take on the Lakers at the BMO Harris Bradley Center. Thanks for watching Bucks TV.